Hey guys, JD here. And today I've got a brand new PWC dolly. And so I am going to open this up and put it together and let's see how it works. Uh, I bought this dolly on Black Friday and now I'm gonna put it together and I'll give you guys uh, an overview of the dolly. There you have it. I'll pull the parts out and give you another look. All right, so we got it unboxed here. Uh, as the comments have stated, this did not come with any instructions. So I'm just gonna look back at the product image and we'll kind of just figure out how it goes together. So here's the frame, you know, this is a full-size dolly, supports uh, over a thousand pounds. It looks to be pretty good quality so far. Tubular steel, uh, it looks like it's zinc coated so you're going to want to lay out all the pieces in your driveway like this when you're looking at these bars the longer side should be facing outwards and this narrower part facing to the interior of the dolly so then i just i have this together here so i just wanted to show you so you have the two pieces that come together and this bracket here is going to go right like that sandwiched between these two pieces Again, uh, you shouldn't have any extra brackets. One goes on either side of this tube here. Then you're gonna use two of these longer bolts that come with the kit. And before you put the nut on, you're gonna wanna use a washer, a lock washer, and then go ahead and put your nut on. Now to attach, this is the bar that will hold the bunks. So to attach that, you're gonna want, this is the medium sized bolt that came with the kit. You can see there's a smaller bolt and the longer bolt. So this is the medium sized bolt. That's gonna go through just like that. And then it's gonna get a washer, a lock washer and a nut. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, these brackets here are gonna be to attach the bunks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together. Uh, before you tighten it's you know, with something like this, I don't know the exact uh, tolerances. So I'm gonna get all the nuts and bolts in loose and then I'll tighten it all up together just so I make sure I'm, everything lines up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten these bolts up and uh, then we'll put the wheels on. All right, so now we've got the frame all bolted together. We've got everything tightened and now I'm gonna go ahead, flip it over and put the wheels on. So you're gonna put the wheel, the caster assembly on the base like that. You're gonna need two of the smaller bolts two washers, two lock washers, and then two nuts for this side. Now the other side here is gonna use this. There's, it's two nuts welded together with a little bar. And that is gonna go in the frame like that. You just gotta hold it in there while you tighten the farthest bolt. So for these, what you wanna do is take the short bolt, you're gonna put on a lock washer first, then a regular washer and then go ahead and put that in. Now remember, you're gonna have to line up this in the tube frame there. And then we're gonna tighten up those two on that side. All right, so now the subframe is fully assembled. All the bolts are tightened, the casters are mounted. So now I'm gonna flip it over and we'll get the bunks in place. And I'll tell you, just from looking at this thing already, it is heavy. It's very solid. It's, I mean, it's, it's heavy. So should be perfectly suited for a Kawasaki Ultra. So once you get these installed, remember, keep everything loose. Don't tighten up anything until you get the whole thing attached. So now this bunk is attached, so I'm going to go through and tighten it up now. Now you don't want them to be loose so that there's there's any gap. But you want them to be loose enough so that you could move them, you could pivot them just a bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the other one installed and then uh, our dolly will be done. So the next part of the video, I will show you pulling the ski off the trailer onto the dolly. And there you go. There is my $100 
Black Friday PWC dolly. Thing is pretty big and it's pretty heavy. Uh, you can see it's got adjustments there to adjust the bunks. So this will be perfect for taking my skis off of the trailer. That way I'll be able to roll them into the garage. I'll be able to detail them. And uh, um, I think I mentioned my uh, trailer actually needs a new set of springs. So rather than try to do it at the boat ramp, I'll do one side at a time. It's easier to get in there without the ski on rather than having to get underneath. So anyway, um, a word of caution for anyone putting this kit together. Uh, there are no extra lock washers or extra bolts. I have some extra washers here and that's because when I assembled it, I think they wanted you to put a washer on the outside of these bolts as well as the nuts. And I didn't do that. And at this point that ship has sailed. All right, now finally we have these black plastic end caps. These are gonna go in each of these. You're gonna line them up and then tap them in with a hammer. And you can see we've got those black plastic end caps in and the dolly is completed. So to give you some of my opinions on the fit and finish, I think that it's pretty heavy duty. I think the hardware was decent. It came with just enough nuts, bolts, lock washers, and washers to complete it. These are composite, they're not wood, and they've got your standard carpeted carpeting on there. So I will next get the ski onto the dolly and we'll see how it rolls with the ski on it. Now I'm gonna pull this, this Ultra LX off the trailer and onto the dolly. I've tilted the trailer so that the dolly lines up with the back of the ski. We've got it. Slide that in there. I'm gonna put these drain plugs in just a bit so that they uh, are not in the way. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the hose and some dish soap, and we're gonna lube up the bunks on the dolly and on the trailer just to facilitate the sliding. I've got the ski almost halfway on the dolly, and uh, what I'm doing is just grabbing the ski by the lip here and pulling it backwards got the tires for the trailer chalked. I've already moved it a couple feet back and we're just gonna keep sliding it. I'm, the, the dolly, the, the wheels on the dolly here are locked in place. So I'm just gonna go to the front of the ski here now and I'm gonna push and we should be able to get the ski right onto the dolly. All right, now you can see that the, uh, we got the Ultra here fully on this dolly. If you look at the screen here, you'll see that that same dolly is sold under maybe 20 different brands from different sellers across Amazon. Again, I paid $99 for mine on Black Friday, but it looks like it probably averages about $150 on the internet right now. So I hope this was helpful. Please uh, leave a comment and ask me any questions if you need help.